What's up guys? I wanted to talk about a little bit the situation at hand with Kai Greene. As I'm sure most of you guys know, yesterday he announced himself that he will not be competing in the 2015 Mr. Olympia contest. And he just said that it was because of reasons that he can't talk about yet, but that were out of his control. Um, first things first is that I want to address that people that know me might be like, oh, you're a big Phil fan, you're probably so excited about this. Well, I have mixed emotions about it. Um, while I am happy that Phil is probably going to win his fifth Sandow nearly unopposed because he's that far ahead of everybody else, I'm not happy about it because everybody likes seeing the battle. You know, it's not exciting to watch one guy just walk on to victory unopposed. You know, it's a lot more exciting when there's a fight for first place and especially when Phil and Kai are fighting it out for first place because they're always really exciting to watch on stage together. And second reason I'm not happy about it is that I feel for Kai. You know, I feel bad for Kai. I don't hate Kai Green at all. He's a phenomenal bodybuilder. Yes, I do prefer Phil Heath's physique, and I would rather have Phil Heath be our Mr. Olympia. I don't hate Kai Green by any means. He is a phenomenal bodybuilder, and the philosophical approach that he has to bodybuilding is absolutely unlike nobody else's. He is truly in a world of his own, and he's a champion in his own right. So why is this happening that he's not competing? Well, there's a lot of speculation going on. Um, I don't think anybody knows for sure. I haven't heard from anybody that there's a definite reason yet, but there's some conflicting stories. Um, I watched Kai Green's video and it seems like he's playing the victim of this. A lot of his fans think that he's a victim and I think what one of the common speculations is, is that the IFBB is just not letting him compete because they were afraid that he looks too good this year and that this would be the year that he dethrones the champ, Phil Heath. Which I think is absolutely the single-handedly stupidest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Um, you know, they're not going to let the Patriots just not compete in the Super Bowl because they were afraid they were going to beat the Seahawks. You know, that's just completely ridiculous. Um, so that's what I have to say about that. That's absolutely not why. But a lot of people feel like Kai played the victim in his video. And there was an interview released by Flex Magazine with the promoter of the Olympia, namely Robin Chang, where he confirmed that Kai was given his contract months ago and that he was supposed to sign it months ago but he asked for an extension in July to July which they gave him and he still didn't sign it um, he still hasn't signed it to this day but they said that they had con said that they had contacted him asking about the contract they had, and that they just couldn't get a hold of him um, I've also heard that he didn't talk to his trainer, George Farah, over the last month. I just have heard that he was just completely out of the loop with everybody in the last month or so, maybe more, maybe a little bit less, of this journey to the Mr. Olympia contest. So what exactly happened, I don't know. There's been stories that it was a problem with booth space, that he asked for a free booth and they wouldn't give it to him, that he asked for a free booth, and he said that if he didn't get it, he wouldn't compete, and they said, all right, sucks for you, show's going on without you. But there's other people that have said that he did try to pay for a booth, so what exactly happened with this whole situation, I personally am not completely sure of yet, but I've heard the rumors, and I don't think Kai or Kai's team has officially announced a reason behind him not being allowed to compete. But what it is not, is it is not the IFBB's fault. Um, he didn't just get banned from the Olympia because he was too good and they were afraid that he would beat Phil Heath. That's absolutely ridiculous. So that's about all I have to say about this topic, um, is that Kai is not competing, and that when we have a definite reason and more details, that I will post another video talking a bit more in depth about the details of the situation and what happened.
as to why Kai Greed is not allowed to compete at the 2015 Mr. Olympia contest. Now, with that being said, with Kai being out, I've got to kind of revise my top six predictions, you know, because he released his video like 12 hours, not even after I released my prediction video, which I thought was kind of funny because I was purposely holding off on doing or posting my prediction video until it was confirmed whether or not that he would be in or out. So I was kind of, you know, mixed up by that. So not a whole lot different in my top six without Kai. Um, Phil gonna win. Um, I say Dennis Wolf second, Sean Roden third, uh, Big Ramy fourth, if he's dry, er, then Brazil. Uh, Dexter fifth, maybe Dexter. I think that uh, Dennis and Sean could switch depending who's sharper, full, or whatever. And I think Ramy and Dexter can switch depending on who's harder. But that also has to factor in Ramy's size that he has about, I don't even know, how many thousand pounds more than Dexter Jackson. So that could go either way. Um, so that's five. And then the sixth spot is honestly up for grabs. Um, I know I mentioned Steve Kuklo the other day. Um, it's been brought to my attention that I missed a few big names that could be wild cards in contention for that sixth place spot, or even higher possibly is um, Branch Warren. I didn't even think about him when I was making my prediction video. You can absolutely never count Branch Warren out of anything. Um, I think Juan Morel will be up there fighting for that spot. Um, I hope William Bonac is up there fighting for it because I love this guy's physique. You know, he's got so much muscle on that, on that frame. Even though he is a little bit narrow from the back, his back isn't um, quite where it should be yet. He's getting there. And he's had a lot of time to improve since he last competed, so I think he'll be up there fighting for top six, I hope. Um, I think Cedric McMillan will be fighting for top six, trail under the top six, too. I think that's a very high possibility. That's just guys off the top of my head. I don't have my list in front of me, but that is what I believe the top six will be. It'll, I believe it'll be Phil first, Dennis second, Sean, third, uh, Rami, fourth, Dexter, fifth, and then um, Steve, Branch, Juan, William, or Cedric will probably make out the rest of my top ten. So there's my top ten predictions, I guess. So I hope that kind of helps you maybe a little bit understand the Kai Green situation better. He is confirmed himself to be out of the 2015 Mr. Olympia contest and I will have another video for you guys once I have a for sure reason and explanation to Kai not being able to compete. Um, so don't quote me on any of the things, any of the rumors that I've talked about and we'll see how the show goes on. I hope you guys have a great Olympia weekend.